Jamie Mackey, welcome home. Yeah, uh, unbelievable. What a feeling. Uh, I'm just so delighted to be back here and walking down the steps there, seeing the ground and uh, seeing the QPR sign over there just, yeah, means everything to me. I'm absolutely delighted. You've been away for a couple of years, but I know deep down this place has always been home to you, hasn't it? Yeah, without a doubt, you know, um, we had the decision to leave a couple of years ago, uh, pretty much since, since I did that. Uh, I've missed the place, stayed in contact with a lot of people and uh, yeah, um, this, this is my home, I love it here and uh, I've missed it badly, yeah. How straightforward the decision was it? Because you could have easily probably looked for opportunities elsewhere, but like you say, this is the place that does feel like home and, and I haven't spoken to you earlier today, your friends and family feel that way as well? Yeah, uh, yeah, of course, you know, I had I had the chance possibly and, you know, we was, uh, my agent spoke to a few other clubs, but um, I, I got notified by him and a few other people that QPR are interested in the potential of coming uh, coming home, coming back here and uh, I didn't need to speak to anyone else. So, uh, you know, we didn't actually speak to anyone else in the end. I'm just delighted as soon as I knew the opportunity was here to come and make it work and uh, delighted to have it done. You left under a little bit of a cloud personally with obviously uh, the decision to move on for passers new. Do you feel as though there's a bit of unfinished business here for you? Um, you know, I'd absolutely love my, my first spell at a club that goes without saying, but yeah, obviously I left there. Uh, I made that decision um, not not on my own. I had, I've got a family and uh, we, we all made that decision together. It certainly wasn't an easy one, just the way the way the place was at the time. And I just thought maybe it was right for me to maybe seek a new challenge. But, um, you know, things don't always work out and uh, you, you can't always tell how it's going to go. But like I said, pretty much early on, I, uh, I realised that, uh, this I always knew it was a special place to me, but I think it takes you to move away from the place maybe to to realise how much it does mean to you and uh, how much I missed it. So uh, I don't know. I've always got things to prove. That's the sort of guy I am. That's the sort of player I am. I want to prove people wrong. And uh, anyone anyone here who who maybe didn't believe me at any stage, and you know, I want to show them that uh, I can do a really good job for QPR. And uh, I'm, I'm as hungry as I, as the first day I signed. I think five years ago I signed, and uh, I'm equally as hungry as. It uh, as I was then um, and I can't wait to do well for QPR again. You've just spoken up sir to Les Ferdinand and I know that um, you'll be on the phone to Chris Ramsey very very soon. Um, your initial thoughts on, on the pair of them and what they're trying to do here? Yeah, I mean, before before I've signed, um, you know, they've made made three good signings and uh, a younger sort of calibre of player who, who have done well, um, and uh, you know, it just shows that the, that the club are maybe looking in that direction to to build up a, a great team here of younger players who are hungry and and want to do well for the football club. So yeah, it's great. I know, obviously, the the manager here loves to coach as well, which which is a great thing, you know. Um, albeit I'm, I'm not as young as I was the first day I signed. You know, I'm not old in, in any in any sense of the word at all. And uh, I want to get better as a football player as well. So I've got a great opportunity. And obviously Les Ferdinand's a legend here. And, um, you know, it's great to speak to him. He's got great stories and uh, loves QPR, which I think, you know, you need people like that around the football club to make sure it's in good hands and doesn't make mistakes that uh, potentially it has done in the past. You've enjoyed some great memories on this on this pitch just behind you as you as you look back there. I can just about picture where you scored that goal against against Liverpool on that crazy night here. What would be your number one memory from your first spell at QPR? Would it would Derby away come into the reckoning as well? Uh, certainly, I think in that season that we got promoted, um, going back a bit now, but that was probably a turning point in the season, or, or uh, maybe not a turning point, but it sort of gave everyone the belief that we could really do something. That's a good memory. Uh, I think about it a lot. Um, obviously, promotion to the Premier League um, is probably the best best memory and the best achievement. Um, you look around, and you know, I could name everyone from that squad. Um, good friends. And, to yeah, this day. yeah, extremely good friends to this day. Really close friends, um, which, which is a massive, massive factor because that doesn't always happen in football but yeah that and, and and some and some memorable goals you know I've got amazing memories of the football club and just looking looking forward to two weeks time just less than two weeks time now first day of pre-season I know you'll be fighting fit as you always are but I'm sure there'll be a few lads in that dressing room that'll be looking forward to bumping into you as well yeah, I, you know what? I wish it was tomorrow, to be honest with you. I wish, you know, um, I've got itchy feet. I think my wife and the kids have had enough of me at home anyway. So um, I, I couldn't couldn't wait to get back uh, to pre-season, wherever it is. But now it's at QPR. I want it to come around tomorrow and see old faces, you know, like yourself. And every, everyone seems to be the same at the club. And I've, I've, I've kept in good touch with a lot of people. So can't wait to get back in there, get started and, um, you know, get everyone together. Yeah, good.
You shared a great affiliation with the supporters in your, your first spell here. What would finally be your message to them ahead of your second spell and your homecoming? Yeah, you know, I uh, had an amazing, amazing uh, relationship with the fans uh, before, and uh, you know, I can't, I can't promise that you know, uh, any fireworks or this, that, and the other. They know what they're going to get from me. Um, I love playing for the football club, and can't wait to put the shirt back on and uh, you know, get get the supporters. These are fantastic supporters, the best I've seen, the best I know, and um, get them right behind us and give them something to cheer about and uh, make sure we have a real solid season and you know, achieve something great with the football club again, which you know, these fans deserve. So can't wait to put the shirt back on and do well for them again.